Hello, this is Alan McNabb, and uh, in this tutorial, uh, we talk about improving your SEO uh, with metadata and content. Uh, all of us want to have the best ranking website we can have. Perhaps you're selling something, perhaps you have information that's important to other people, and you want to be able to have a very, a very high ranking on the search engines so that those products get out, that information gets out to people. So that's a concern that we all have. One of the ways that we do this is by improving our SEO, our search engine optimization. And it's something we have to work on continually because the behavior of people as they are searching the internet, it changes. And as their behavior changes, we too have to change what we're doing with our website. And sometimes we have to restructure somewhat in regards to the keywords, the titles, descriptions, other things we'll talk about in this uh, webinar uh, that every executive needs to be aware of so that uh, he can lead his team. Now, first of all, I want to uh, share my screen and I want to uh, look at some webinars and tutorials which we have uh, which we have gone over before because I want to remind you of these because we're going to be talking about this information and I'm sharing with you now image building web design and we're just looking at the front page here and we have videos over to the far right hand side before that we have a blog and and what we do is we take some of our videos we add a blog to it to uh, uh, help you uh, understand a little bit better and give you some written information but let's go down to the webinars first of all and uh, there are a couple of uh, important webinars we've had so far. One is increasing your traffic uh, by improving your page ranking. And a lot of that is just doing some good SEO practices. Another one that we've had that's very important uh, is Web Essentials. And um, with this webinar, we talked about things just generally. And we talked about uh, content marketing strategy, social media marketing strategy, and just some good basic practices that would be good to review from time to time. I want to also go to some tutorials and remind you of this because you may very well want to uh, get some more information or review information we've talked about before. And uh, the first one on this list is keywords, and we're going to talk about keywords quite a bit today. Uh, we need to analyze and make good decisions regarding the keywords, uh, that includes the key phrases that we use. And so we'll talk about that quite a bit. Uh, also have tutorials on marketing and mobile web, social media, video, and web design. Well, what we're talking about also today will include some web design because we're going to talk about metadata. And so that would be a very good, uh, that would be a very good tutorial to review also. So let's talk about keywords for uh, just a moment. And uh, remember from previous tutorials and webinars, we use some tools which are identified in those videos. We will not review them all now. We use some tools to find out which keywords and phrases people are using today to find companies or organizations like ours. And when you find those keywords, and that includes the, the key search phrases, then you tailor your content and your metadata to include those words. And, and uh, it's, um, I, I likened it, I liken it to this. First of all, we find out what the behavior is of people as they're using search engines. And then we use those keywords and phrases to position ourselves so that we can easily be found. We then review these keywords and phrases um, rather often, perhaps once a month, at least I suggest once a quarter, to find out if their search behavior has changed, and it will change over time. And then as we do that, we adjust our pages on our website, especially our main pages, so that we're always out in front of these individuals so that we can be found. When we come up with these keywords and key phrases, one of the things we're going to want to do is change our metadata. 
Now, metadata is not seen on your web page by your visitors, just on your regular web page. But it is the data included on the page that communicates with the search engines. And so it's very important that this information is correct and the very best it can be so that we communicate with the search engines. And in so doing, then we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do much better in uh, uh, communicating with other individuals who come to our pages. All right, so let me share my screen here and let's look at some Let's look at some. Uh, um, let's look at some some pages here. All right, very good. I'm going to I'm going to move over. I'm going to move over. Here we go. Now that's image building web design. I've already shared that with you. And now I'm going to share with you. I'm going to show you how to look at the source of that page. The source is the programming language, uh, you might say, uh, that is used to create the page. Now, you just come down, you can come down to the content area of the site or go just move outside of that. On a PC, right click and go up to view page source. I'm on Chrome right now. View page source. That will open up another window and it, you'll have the programming language, you might say. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to show you what this page looks like. All right, here it is. And you uh, see, uh, as you look just a little bit down on the page, you will see some lines of code, code that begin with the word meta, M-E-T-A. That's what we're talking about. And here, I know this page is small on your computer, but uh, if you're looking at this page or another page, uh, it says meta name equals keywords, and then another line meta name equals description, and then another line it says title, and then has a title that goes out from there. So let's start with the title. Now our title is Tampa Web Design, Small Business Web Design, Online Marketing. Now the title can run somewhere around 65 or so words, 69 perhaps at most. And that wants, you want that to be the absolute, succinct, short phrases of your main target audience. Now, we serve customers all over the United States, but for our immediate target area, it is Tampa. And so, with doing search to, to search and to find out what are the best keywords, we use Tampa Web Design. And so you may do something similar. Uh, maybe you sell insurance and your whole target market is a state. You may say Florida auto insurance. But again, do research on the keywords to find out exactly which words and exactly which phrases are best to use. All right, so that's the title. And that will, that will appear at the very top of the web browser. You can see here uh, with this window, Tampa Web Design is what comes up first. Now let's talk about the description for just a moment. Now the description is an elongated. It can be longer. It can be 150, maybe 156 uh, characters, and the characters include spaces. And this is an elongated idea. It may be one sentence. I've seen it to be two or three sentences before. And this is the main idea of this page and being a home page it should be also the whole website and our description says Tampa web design and web management by image building web design including SEO and cutting edge marketing strategies and so that is our description first of all it's, it's of the page and since it's the home page it really is of the whole theme of our website and that's the way it should be with a home page and so the description is longer. Again, it's using these key phrases and key words. Now, let's talk about the meta for keywords. Now, Google has said that it does not use keywords for search rankings. There are some thoughts and some evidence that Google is using keywords for some other things. But of course, Google and other search engines, they just usually don't come out and say exactly what they're doing. And so it's left for us to gather evidence to find out what's going on and to make some educated guesses on what is, what is being done by these search engines. So we continue to use the keywords. Many companies have stopped 
many very large companies continue to use them and so we continue to use them also you never know when a search engine like Google are going to start using the, the keywords again for something very important such as your search ranking so we want them to be there we want them to be in place and you just never know what tomorrow is going to hold now with the keywords it can be maybe as many as 10 certainly when you start getting up to about 10 you'll receive warnings with some analytics that, that you're getting up high certainly you don't want it to be 20 or 30 keywords or phrases because then it's you're going to be picked up as as doing some keyword stuffing so you don't want that to happen so the keywords are the words or phrases 10 absolute max let's say uh, fewer than that would be even better uh, keywords on the page being the home page of your main website in your business our keywords Tampa web design you could have guessed that right and then the next one, website design, web management, SEO, marketing strategies, build a website, social media. And so here you have our metadata, title, description, keywords. Anybody can go and look at our source code, just like I can go and look at the source code of your website also. All right, so let me, uh, let me go back now here for a second and get off this page. All right, so... In previous tutorials and webinars, we've talked about keywords. We've gone through the process of analyzing and choosing keywords. Now, in this webinar, we've gone a step further. We're implementing these keywords into our metadata. Now, we've got to go a step further than that, and we also have to have these keywords and phrases implemented into our content. And so, if you look at a very well constructed website, if you look at the title and you look at the key things in the title, if you look at the description and the key things in the description, you look at the keywords. Now, when, when it comes to the content of the site, are you going to see those exact words and phrases? Absolutely. This is critical to understand. Your title, description, keywords, and content all have to jive together to be communicating the same message. If you've got a title that's different from your content, what good is that going to do you? A search engine is going to look at that and say, well, the, they're saying there's one title here, but the content is absolutely different. Obviously, this is not a very good website. The same thing for the description and the keywords. So this point now is put these all together. Make sure that they jive together. Make sure they're communicating the same message. Now, let me share something else with you. I want to share a tool with you that I've shared before. And uh, this is this is SEO Quake. SEO Quake. And you can download it. You can download it. It's for free. Uh, you can download all of the options, uh, all of the add-ons. They are free. And, and there are some things that uh, you, you have to have a paid account to do. But a lot of the things, many of the things are free. And, and, and this is a tool that I use a lot. I've talked about it quite a bit. Okay, so I'm SEO Quake. I've got the toolbar installed. It's right here. I'm going to click on the SEO site tools. And there are a lot of things that come up here. Go down to suggestions and click that. And it gives me analysis here of the link quality, uh, quantity that is not too many. Of the title tag. Now, tools are not perfect. Let me just say that. And it may be that the title tag tool has a lot of things in, in mind. Maybe that Google, you're fine with that. And Bing, you're fine with that. But it might be some search engine you're, you're maybe a little bit too long on. It's not going to be a big deal. It's just going to cut it short a little bit. So just be aware of it. When you get a warning, be aware of it. Go and check. But, but this, to me, is a very good tool. I use it to see how I'm doing here with that. So the title tag, if I were doing this website, I would go and check that to make sure that that's good. The meta description is good. It's a reasonable link. The keywords tag, good. The image alt tags, a lot of times this tool is showing that there are a lot missing and there, there may not be a lot missing. And so, but, but be aware of it and check it. All of the images you have there, if you'll use the alt tag, and there's some disagreement over whether or not search engines are looking at that, if you'll use the alt tag, that gives you opportunities 
to again put information in there about what this page, what this image is all about. And so here we see it's, it's being analyzed. Uh, the other link tags, the compression, the page size. Um, it says here that there are some stop words in the title, but it's not, not being complete there with that. Questioning about the phone number being there, and that's important to have that phone number for your local search abilities. And it says the link to the URL is good. So I use this tool constantly so as I'm working to have the same key phrases and the key words in all of these things, the content on the page, the title, the description, the keywords, so that they all jive together and so that they are all communicating the same message and so that I have the absolute best ranking that I can have. So let's just take a moment and review. We've talked about with other webinars and tutorials about analyzing and making good decisions on the keywords and the key phrases to use. Now we're implementing that into our pages. Our title, description, keywords, and content. I personally, I do this all together. I may have just a draft laid out, then I go and I do it all together. I'll have multiple screens opened up and I'll be looking at the metadata on one, I'll be looking at the content on the other, and I make sure that they absolutely jive together, that they're all in harmony together. And then if you do that, you're going to have the best search engine ranking that you can have, at least in that regard. Now hopefully, when we have our next webinar, next Tuesday at 9 a.m., we're going to, again, talk about improving your search engine optimization, but we're going to talk about backlinks, very important topic for us. We're going to talk about backlinks. I hope you can join us for that webinar. If not, certainly, I hope you can catch the archive, the archive of the webinar, which will be on our Google Plus page, our YouTube page, page and also our website. So thank you for being with us today, and we look forward to seeing you again very soon.